you're editing a video into script and you want to get rid of the background and put something different behind you. How do you do it? I'm in the Descript web app. I'm inside my project. I have it split up into three scenes here. The first scene is sort of the introduction. The second scene is the long one. It's where I'm doing the tutorial. And then the last scene is my outro, goodbye, wrap up, whatever you want to call it. So for this project, I might want to change the background at this end and I might want to change it for this beginning scene, but I'm probably not going to do well with AI background removal if I try to do it on this scene that is mostly the screen and I'm just down in a corner. Keep that in mind. I'm going to click back up here into scene one and over here under the underlord, which if this is not showing, just click the underlord button on the far right. Down under look good, I can come down and click green screen. You'll see it starts sort of a blue pulsating thing going on down at the bottom and you'll see the toggle is enabled. And I think it's applied. I don't think the preview has updated just yet. Let me click forward a little bit here. Yeah, it has applied. Sometimes in the web app of Descript, there's just a little bit of a delay in the preview recognizing and showing you certain changes. But a quick click around in the scene there, I can see that it definitely has applied that background remover. I'm going to go ahead and mute this and play through so that we can see how it did at removing the background, which of course it calls green screen. And that drives me a little crazy because it's there's no green screen required. It's just background removal. Now you can see in my second scene, this is terrible. It took out all the stuff that I was talking about, everything that's on screen that needs to be there. And it kept me down in the corner. Worry not, we can get that back. I'm just gonna click on the two up here to make sure that we're on scene two. And then I'm gonna come over to this toggle next to green screen and toggle it off. Now my screen is back and I'm still there. Let's go to the end on scene three and see how it did with that. And it looks like it did a pretty good job of removing the background and not removing, you know, chunks of my head or anything like that. It has definitely improved. If you use green screen or the background removal into script a long time ago and weren't super happy with it, I would say give it another shot. It has gotten so much better. Here, if you pay attention right there and right there, you you will see blips of my chair come through. I'm really surprised that this is the extent of it and that I didn't get a lot more of this because I do not have my lighting set up in a way to really make a stark contrast and make it easy for the AI to figure out. But there's nothing to adjust here. You click the button and that's that. The downside, of course, is that there is no way to go back and manually edit this and say, hey, you got to get rid of this, leave these little spots in the chair. You'll have to get creative and do something different around there. But I have to say it's doing a really, really good job. If you have any trouble with the green screen and you need to do some troubleshooting, a couple things to think about. One is that this toggle here is just turning the effect on or off, which you can do on any scene that you want. But if something's gone silly and you want to just get rid of that effect altogether, maybe start over, click this little settings button here and click on remove effect. That does more than just toggle it off. That actually removes the effect. Sometimes I find that removing the effect that way, rather than just toggling it on or off, I don't know, that makes the computer robots kick into gear and get things right. Now, if I only wanted to apply green screen or background removal to a single scene right from the get go, I can just double click on that scene. That'll select the entire scene. Then I want to make sure I am on the layer menu. So just click layer here. If it's not appearing at all, or if I'm on some other kind of panel, I can just click layer and then come down here to the bottom next to effects, click the plus green screen and it will apply it to this scene only, the one that I have selected. So now if I switch back to scene two, I'm good, no green screen. If I go back to scene one, I am good, no green screen. Now that we've got our background removed, we might wanna put a different background behind our subject. But remember, we have a few different scenes here. Scene three, this is where I would want a different background, but in scene two, the video already fills the canvas. I don't need a background on this scene. So let's come back to scene three. I'll just click on it in the scene rail. And if I already have a file that I wanna use as my background, whether it's an image or a video, I'll come over here on this right side menu and I will click on project. And here where it says files, I'll click the add files button, select the file that I wanna use, and then click add new layer. And that puts this new file on top 
happen, of course, we need it to be a background. So we'll just right click on the image, hover over the layer order, and then click send to back. And there I am on our brand new background. There's a couple things you want to check here to make sure that you've got the whole thing covered. Of course, you can play through the video just with the play button or the space bar. But also, while this background is still selected, you can scroll down through your script and everywhere you see the blue underline, well, that's telling you that's where that particular layer is. So it's going all the way to the end. That's exactly what we want. You can also come down to the timeline and make sure that your layer, which you have a little icon thumbnail of here, make sure that it's going all the way across the script that you want it to be present for. And to zoom this timeline out, we can just hold control and then our vertical mouse wheel. And now we don't have to do a whole bunch of scrolling. We can see that it's covering the entirety of scene three. Another way you can do this is double click on the scene you want to apply this background to and then drag your image in from your computer and just drop it on the script. It adds it as a new layer. You can see it in the timeline and you just right click layer order send to back. And now our previous scene is unaffected, no background removal, no new background, but the scene we wanted to remove the background from and apply this new background is all taken care of. If you don't have something in mind to use as a background, you can also pick a new background from the Descript stock library. And to do that, we just come over to this right hand menu and click the stock button, come down to backgrounds and click show all to just browse through all the backgrounds or come up to the top. I'm gonna search studio background browse through and find one you like just click on it it'll import the video and there's our new background if you want to swap this out for a different background you're scrolling through you see something else that you like better and you click on it what you end up with is an additional layer so we've got this first background layer that we added and then when we click the second one it just added that too and that's probably not what you're going for you probably don't want layered layers of backgrounds so let's undo that with Control z what we'd want to do instead of clicking any of these different ones and just adding layers upon layers upon layers come down here in your timeline right click on this layer in our timeline and then we'll click on replace media then you'll have this pop up over here on the left you can browse through these and let's say i wanted to go with this one click it and it's now replaced that original pick with our latest pick we can close out this stock panel we don't need that anymore it looks like it overlaid but worry not if we click anywhere we can see that it's in the background and not on top of our video. That's how you remove your background using green screen in the script. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me in this video. I hope you found it helpful and will come back and join me for another one.